Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. Have you guys ever been bowling before? I have, but it's been a really long time. Today we're at Time to Spare Bowling right here in Conroe, Texas and we're going to learn all about bowling, how the machines that run bowling work, and even have a little bit of fun bowling. You guys want to do that? We'll learn some rules and all that fun stuff too. Come on, let's get started. Now, one of the first things you need to do when you come bowling is get a bowling ball, right? But wow, take a look at all these really big lanes. There are so many different lanes here. Oh wow, I see something right over there that we need to go check out. Come on guys. Come check this out, this is really neat. So we're here really early in the morning and what they're doing is getting the bowling alley ready for the entire day's worth of play. They have this machine here, look at that. Guys, come take a look at this thing right here. Wow. You know what that is? That's actually a robot that cleans the lanes and it moves from lane to lane and does a really good job scrubbing it and polishing it and making sure it's ready for play. Watch that, it's doing that all on its own. There's not even a remote control. And look, it's gonna go down the lanes, come here. And see, it's really, really clean and polished right after it goes by. That is so cool. I had no idea they actually had robots that do the work for polishing the lanes. It used to be you'd have to take a broom and some oil and oil these down because these are actually really, really slick. But anyways, we're not here to learn about robots. Let's go get our shoes. Now, I need to get a bowling ball and my shoes so that we can bowl. Now, bowling balls come in all different sizes, colors, and all of them around. I was gonna say shapes, but they're all around. So you need to find one that you're comfortable with that's a good size for your fingers. And some people like to throw really heavy bowling balls. I actually like to throw one that's a little bit lighter. This is a nine, oh, this is a 10 pound bowling ball. See that, it says 10 right on it. That's really cool. All right, well now that I've got my ball, let's go get some shoes. Ooh, this one has a little bit bigger finger holes. That'd be better for Cowboy Jack. So we still got a 10 pounder here. All right. Now let's get some shoes. Bowling shoes are really, really cool. I can't wear my cowboy boots. Look, they've set these out for me right here. Size 12, just like I need. They're really fun colors. You've got blue, silver, and red. They kind of look like clown shoes. They're really fun to wear. They're really slick on the bottom that helps you slide. A lot of people like to slide around when they bowl. We'll talk about that in just a second. Now, they told us we would be bowling on lane 34. I need to look at the numbers and find lane 34. This right here is lane 33. See, they have a number right here at this. Oh, lane 34, here we are. Perfect, so I can put my bowling ball in here. And see, we're gonna be on that one right there. Now, first thing I gotta do is get out of my cowboy boots. Let me grab a seat and do that real quick. Wow. Don't ever smell a cowboy boot. Let me get these shoes on. These are really cool. They don't even have laces. They have Velcro straps. You guys might have shoes with Velcro straps on them. Look at that. How does that look? Does that go with my outfit very good? <laughs> All right, now see, I've got my bowling shoes on. It looks a lot different than my cowboy boots. But the first thing you need to remember about bowling is that there are a few rules, right? Come over here, guys. So the distance between your actual chair where you're sitting and hanging out and waiting on your turn and where you grab your ball and actually go bowl is called the approach. Now there's a lot of people bowling at the same time. You wanna make sure that you're not going to the approach at the same time as someone else. If someone else was right here when I was grabbing my ball, it'd be kind of awkward like, oh, hey, you go, me go up. So you just go one at a time. So you come up here and you grab your bowling ball. And you, a lot of people hold it different ways. Some people hold it like this. Some people hold it like this. I don't know, some people only use two fingers and use this to get a lot of spin. But when we're just learning out how to bowl, I'm not a great bowler because I don't do it very often, but I'm practicing and trying to get better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use all three fingers. 
And see there's these dots right here on the lane. We use those to line up. This is kind of where you start from. And then this big line right out here, this is called the foul line. You do not cross that because right beyond that is where that polish starts like that robot put on the lane and it gets really, really slippery. And you're just not supposed to go past that. If you go past that, you get disqualified. It's called crossing the foul line or making a foul. So let's check on our scoreboard. See, they have a scoreboard right up there and that keeps track of everything we're doing. It's got my name up there. See, it says Cowboy Jack Team 34. Wow, well I guess there's nothing left to do but go ahead and throw a rock down the lane. That's what they call it. <laughs> so nobody else in the approach? Okay, I'm gonna get lined up right here in the middle, get my ball. Nothing left to do but roll. And see, we're gonna throw it down the lane and I'm gonna try to knock over as many of those pins as I can. If you get them all, it's called a strike. I don't know if I'll get a strike, but there's only one way to find out. Whoop. Hey, that's, that's still pretty good. I think I got all but three of them. We'll be able to see right here. Look at that, there's a little fun animation. So there's 10 pins all together, and it says I got seven of them. So I know that I got all but three. And look, my ball just came back right here. Whew. Gotta let it stop spinning. Now it's my job, I get one more try to knock over those remaining pins. Let's see if I can do it. No pressure. All right, here we go. Woo, I got all but one, that's pretty good. I feel like I'm, I did a great job there. Now you guys wanna watch how the ball comes back right here? Isn't that crazy? And it's all done by a conveyor system. We'll get to see all that a little bit behind the scenes in just a minute. I want to give this one more shot and see if I could get a strike. All right, guys, here goes nothing. Whoops. Well, this time I think I left either three or four. I can't really tell. I'm going to look at the screen and find out. Yep, that's all but three just again like I did last time. But here's my ball. Nobody in my approach. I think I missed them. Yep. See, that time I left three, but that's okay because we're all about learning and we're trying to get better. <laughs> I know I said that was my last try, but how about just one more try? All right, nobody in my approach. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling loose. Sometimes you get a little bit nervous when you're bowling because you're like up in front of everybody and everybody's watching. You know what you do when you get nervous? Just take a deep breath. Yeah, I feel better. And sometimes you just need a little shake it loose, right? Which, whew, get loose and shake it off. It also gets a little bit embarrassing sometimes. You just need to, hey, are you guys laughing at my hair? Okay, hold on. All right, now that I'm loose, I'm stretched, I'm feeling good, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw, throw the bowling ball. All but one, wow! That was really cool. Now I get one more try to knock that down. And if you get all of them down on the second try, that's called a spare. I would love to get a spare. Here we go. Here's my second try. And if I knock this down, that's my spare. Ooh, did I get it? Did I get it? Nope. <laughs> But that's the fun about bowling. You never know where those pins are gonna end up and you have to adjust yourself on the lane, try a different throw, maybe a little bit faster, a little bit slower, you never know. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, well now that we've done a little bit of bowling, we're gonna actually get to go in the back and see how these machines work because all we do is we throw the ball and then those pins get magically reset, but it's not magic that does it, it's an actual machine. And they've invited us back there to actually take a look at it. You guys wanna check that out? Come on. Wow, a behind the scenes at the bowling alley. See, look how big these machines are. 
and they go all the way down. Wow. So that's resetting the lane right there and this thing has all these pins lined up in it and they're gonna drop them in the holes so that everything gets lined up again. Look at that, a perfect set, all 10 pins. That's so cool. Wow. And see up there, it's reloading for the next time. That's how it all happens so fast. Whoa. It actually sets up for the next time after that too. This is amazing. Let's see what happens when somebody actually bowls. Guys, get a look right down here. Here comes a bowling ball. Oh wow, they did pretty good. They knocked over all those pins. Look, now that machine's gonna clear those out. That is so, so neat. I had no idea that all this machinery was doing all this work. Oh look, they're about to bowl again. Oh, they missed that time. But look, now the machine's gonna clear all those pins off of there. And it's gonna set new ones. That is so, so cool. Wow. Hey, we're gonna let them bowl one more time and see how they do. Let's get a look right down here. Here comes a bowling ball. Wow. They got all but five of them. Look at that, it's clearing the old ones out, setting them back down. This is so unique, I've never seen anything like that. Oh, here comes the bowling ball. Oh wow, got all but one of them. So that machine's gonna drop down, see how many pins it's got to put down. There we go, that's the magic of bowling, isn't that cool? Wow, I wonder how the ball return works. Wow, so there's the bowling ball right there. Oh, look at that. It goes down this all the way back down to where you're standing so that you can bowl again. These machines are so huge. They have like a shaker down here. They've got this thing that rolls the ball. Oh, here comes another bowling ball. See, oh, here it comes right here. And it's rolling back down. That is so cool. Now, a lot of big machines we see use hydraulics. These actually use pulleys and electric motors. So you can see this right here. That's a Brunswick automatic pin setter motor. That's an electric motor driving these pulleys right here. And it helps all these tools to do their job. And look. I mean, that's just one lane. Look, they have like 35 or 36. I can't remember how many lanes they have. A whole bunch of these machines all the way down there. Now we got to see the magic behind the game. That's so cool. Oh, here it comes one more time. Whoop, gutter ball. <laughs> that happens. You know, sometimes we don't hit any pins and that's okay too. You always get to go again. Wow, so you know what we were watching from behind back there when the ball went down that set of rollers? It's gonna go right through there. Let's watch that. Here comes the ball. Now we can watch the ball go down on its roller coaster. That's what I like to call it. Whoop, there it went. <laughs> That was so cool. Wow, the magic behind bowling. You know, bowling is actually a fantastic sport for all ages. You can be really young or even when you get older, you, you know, just because you can't lift a ball or if your arm hurts or something like that doesn't mean you don't get to play. They have really cool devices to help you out. You guys wanna see what one of those looks like? Look at this thing. This looks kind of confusing, like a big old hunk of metal. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and how you use it to bowl in case you're not big enough to hold the bowling ball yourself. See, what you do is you just take this and set it down on your lane. 
Make sure it's not past the foul line. And now I'm gonna go ahead and bowl with this. And what you do is you come up here, make sure nobody's next to you. Everybody's good on the approach. You take your ball just like this. You set it in these rails and then you make sure you're lined up just right. And then you go ahead and give it a roll. Woo, looks like she's going a little bit to the right. That's okay, see, we get two tries. So that was my first try. Now I know for this next one, maybe I need to aim it a little bit more this direction. Yeah, that looks about right. Let's give it a shot. All right, I got my ball, nobody in my approach. I'm gonna go ahead and come back up here and set my ball back in the rails. You guys ready to see how it goes this time? Let me see, let me see. I'm just trying to get it lined up just how I want it. All right, here it go. Ooh, I think this time's gonna be even better. It's curving back a little bit. Ooh, I got one, that's pretty good. Wow, and see, if I wasn't big enough to hold my own ball, I'd just use one of these devices and it would help me. Another thing they have sometimes are called lane bumpers. And what those are, they're little pads that they put in the gutters right here, because these are actually called the gutters of the bowling alley. And they put those foam bumpers in there so that when you throw your ball, it stays right in the middle and it'll bounce off of the side to side. It kind of becomes like a pinball game. See, bowling's a really funny sport. Some people use spin when they bowl, and that means you take the ball and you kind of twist it. And even though these lanes are really oiled up, well, hey, why don't we quit talking about it? I'll just show you an example. Let me move this out of the way. You guys are about to see the spin doctor in action. All right, so this time I'm gonna spin the ball really hard and it's gonna kind of curve out and then come back to the middle. You guys ready? I haven't done this in a long time. I don't know how it's gonna be, but there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna try really hard. Whew. See, I spun it too much, but a lot of people are really, really good at that, especially professional bowlers. We actually met a professional bowler here that bowled a perfect game of 300. That means every time you come up, you knock down every single pin every time. I've never been that good, but he practices really hard and works at his art, his craft. I'm gonna try one more spin. You guys ready for one more spin? Whoops, I'm way past my dots. Here we go. Whoop, I got one. <laughs> One's good enough for me. I'm not very good at the spin. But you know, it's all about how you use your hand and you roll the ball, the slickness of the lane, the speed of the ball. There's just a lot of factors that go into being a good bowler. All right, we're about to wrap up. I've got one pin left standing. I'm gonna give it one last shot and see if I can pick up a spare finally. <laughs> no such luck today, but boy, have we had a good time. We got to learn all about bowling, some of the rules, these really awesome bowling shoes, and it's been a good time. We even got to see how the ball return works and how those pins are set by those big machines. I hope you had a good time, and if you did, make sure to click subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube. That way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, family, everybody. Make sure to follow me on social media and that way you can get behind the scenes, some extra funny stuff and news about the show. It's a really cool way to connect. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Well, thank you for coming with me today. I really appreciate it. But until next time I see you, 